So he's hitting puberty, he's eating well, he's on the tight meal plan, but he's doing the power bodybuilding. And I love the fact that he gained 20 pounds. Yeah, flexibility is key. And that's why that range of motion, range of motion is the really uh, the importance. Also for you youngsters, just so you understand, density takes time under weights. And so yeah. I recommend doing it from a young age and doing it right. Obviously, as hard as the 30-day blitz is, if done correctly, power bodybuilding, they're all really tough though. So everybody that's doing the power bodybuilding understands the warm-ups. So, oh, uh, look at that. You know what this is right here? This is Piedmontese, though. Oh, yes, a good bison. This is, uh, no, no, this is Piedmontese. Is yeah. it the bison or steak? This is. I'm, not, I'm sorry, is it the ground yeah. steak? This is the lean. Okay, so if you guys don't know, this is the lean joint right my here. go to mm -hmm. on my high day is the ground mm -hmm. uh, steak from Piedmontese. Which is good. And then she puts it in pita bread. Yeah. And I'll do three of those. What is that? Oh, it's, oh, it's it, it's, I messed up though. I should have been doing this because the bison compared to this. First of all, this is you got a friend there. This is seventy five percent less fat. First of all, which is great, but the taste is ten times better. The bison is like a little gamey. Like, isn't that amazing about yeah. Piedmontese? Th this is completely different. Because if I say it's fat free steak. You'd go, well, then it doesn't taste good or it's dry. Yeah, this tastes like a hamburger. This tastes straight up like a hamburger. It's and a it's cheat not meal right. for me. Yeah. This is a cheat meal, but it's not because it's. Right. This right here is 50 grams of protein and 4 grams of fat. Okay. Last time I had a pizza, Mona. Oh my God. I, I ordered pizza and keep throwing it out. A very Jeremy long Davis time. knows about you this. You know who has pizza? Me. I haven't had a pizza forever. Pizza. I haven't cheated like that or ice cream or anything like that because there's such good tasting food mm. that fills me up and makes me so content that I don't need to go to the extreme um, of the pizza or, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like In-N-Out. Somebody said the other day, they go, uh, I go to In-N-Out all the time. I'm like, it's not as good. Oh, you see what he, you see what he got? See what I got. <laughs> so everybody that's doing the power bodybuilding understands the warm-ups. Mm. And I think it was the warm-ups and the and, and the downsets that crushed me today. I knew it. Yeah. I, it, I, I was like, hey, I'll go up. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'll do, I'll do the warm-ups. Can you sign this here? This is for time school when it's starting. Two years old and he's going to school? Yeah. Water? It's going to go to school. I gotta put you guys in the Titan crew, you know the drill when it comes to water? How much to take? Um, but this is a great question here. Um, yep, the program has warm ups and cool downs, but all my all my programs give an idea of that. And then also, you got to be intelligent enough to understand Power Body does the most in depth of warm ups and downsets. On the other ones, it's basic workouts because it's more uh, prone to bodybuilding and shaping the body relative to power. So when it comes to power, that's going to change it out because I'm going to give you more sets. Um, so that's something that, you know, obviously as hard as the 30 day blitz is, if done correctly, power bodybuilding, they're all really tough though. Tomorrow we will go over that, uh, the aspect. Is that the red bag? You can throw it over here. That is the red bag. It was right there. Red bag's clean. Yeah. They don't know about the fanny pack. What's in the fanny pack? Okay. You guys know about this. Hey, for everybody that's in the Titan crew, remember when you get your wolf pack, uh, ask for the Titan Crew patch. It's, All right. Uh, if you use code Titan Crew. Oh, use code Titan. It should be just Titan. Yeah, it might be just Titan. You'll it just type be. it in. You'll, you'll and see. then, oh, my fanny pack. And I, can I ask you guys this? Because these guys say this is not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Watch this. Watch this. Look at my bag, guys. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. What, what you Mike, Mike wanted this bag, the big one. How badass is that? That's, Look at that. That's this is a guy's purse, right? Purse. Can you guys agree with me? This is a guy's guy's purse. Oh, no, it's purse. not. It's, it's, a, a, it's, it's, a, it's a guy's. It's hoard. not even a girl's wallet. It's an old women's wallet. It's not even like, yeah. So toxic over here. So toxic. <laughs> I can't believe it. Come here, see. Yeah. What's up, baby? Come on. This is why I like my. This is why I like my backpack because I got a lot of shit. Look at this. Look at this. 
there's a lot of pockets in the front. I got something in here. You can't see what's in here. Here you can't see. I put my laptop there. But when I come over, bam. You didn't even know that was in there. Bam. You didn't even know that was in there. <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> He's set, man. Oh my God. That's my boy. That's my boy. You can put a lot of stuff in there, which is helpful for me. Um, tomorrow we'll be going over PRs and how to do that and dissect on what your PRs should be. And that's the numbers that your guys are working off of. And so I think a lot of you guys started power bodybuilding and you worked off of what you can do now, where the goal is to put that 50 pounds to 75 pounds on your deadlift and squat. A good 25 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds on your bench. So we'll go over that in the Titan crew. Let me see. <sighs> All right. Very nice. So now this Jeremy here is the father of Oliver. Oliver started doing my programs at 11, am I right, at 11 or 10 years old? Or was he even younger than that? He was eight. He was eight? He was eight when he started working out with you. I have he some videos. when he got on the Yeah, stage. I got some videos from back then. Wow, Isn't okay. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. I was way off. Yeah. So, um, and, and this is what's great, is he's been doing this for so long, but he's at that right age, you know, so he's hitting puberty, he's eating well, he's on the tight meal plan. But he's doing the power bodybuilding, and I love the fact that he gained 20 pounds. So at this stage here, the way he's growing right now, he's probably in that midpoint of uh, puberty. So he'll put on another 30, 40 pounds yeah. and change his whole future. So I love the fact of that. He's got time. I just hit puberty. So he's, he's got time. You hit puberty with that stuff behind the butter. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, Jeremy's wife is on my plan. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, yes, definitely. Is this a, uh, isn't this from China? Squirt? squirt? Or who, who runs Squirt? Why was there a shortage on it? Is it just because? Because everybody's buying it? Was this the fastest? I thought it was, I thought you couldn't find it. What was the other one that we did? You mean the Fresca, it's discontinued. Fresca is what? China. This Fresca is. is. Yeah. So Fresca is another, another one that we do. One, yeah. So we'll do those uh, kind of to satisfy our hunger or if we are craving like on the 30-day blitz. Sweet tooth. That and gum. Yeah. You guys saw my gum? My gum collection? That's why. Why? Tell me. so good. What'd they do? They. He's not my the, research guy. Dr. Pepper owns that. And my top two sugar-free drinks is Dr. Pepper. Pepper and this. Diet Dr. Pepper is good because it tastes yeah, like... That's why it's so good because Dr. Pepper has it. It, it tastes like regular yeah, Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And Squirt is squirt. good because it tastes like regular Squirt. Isn't that crazy how... Oh, they got yeah, that. Yeah. They got that. Oh. And don't listen to that crap about... You can't drink it. No, you can't drink it. I mean, if we drank it, it would be crazy. But we not. I gotta show you a good video on that. You got uh, Dr. Pepper. There's something we haven't gotten in a while. I have not, uh, I haven't had Dr. Pepper. You haven't? Let's try that, babe. Okay. Um, I, I, on the 30 day blitz, as long as you're getting your water in, um, I wouldn't calculate that into your water. And then just see how well your body flushes that water out as you're doing the, uh, the, uh, sugar free pop. Pop. So is pop so uh, south and, and and sodas north? Pop is I don't know. Uh, we say pop in Michigan. Okay, okay, and Midwest maybe. Maybe Midwest. All right. No one says it around here, and it's always weird. You know, there's no what, soda. Soda is a big one here. Don't have Devil's Night here. I didn't know. What that. is that? Exactly. Say it again. Devil's Night. Is that the? I saw, I saw is that Halloween? Night. It's the day before Halloween when you go and you burn buildings and do graffiti and toilet paper nope. houses and egg cars. I saw a map and it was like what they call Devil's Night in Michigan. It's a Devil's Night. What they call Devil's Night everywhere else. And it said nothing. And it blew my mind. I was like, <laughs> I thought Devil's Night is from Mexico. That's Day of the Dead or something like that. But isn't that similar? Maybe change the name because no it's idea. American? Huh. No idea. Yeah, yeah. 
Kids from Michigan, right? Yeah, do something with those abandoned buildings. Yeah, flexibility is key, and that's why that range of motion, range of motion is the really, uh, the importance. James James is a shot. James James hitting that double bicep with a the, tilt. Is he hitting the He's shot? He's hitting that. He tilted it? Yeah, he did. Mischief night. Yeah, so, Lane, um, I do it either way. I don't recommend the average human to do it either way. I recommend the average human to have some calories when they do the uh, the nine-week power body. But I kind of like doing it on cutting down and on a deficit because it really retains that muscle. Um, it keeps me dense, dense. So the denser you can be as you diet down, the much better you'll feel and look and so that's the heavier weights and the and the reps and that's why the the sets the sets are the biggest thing it's the sets that we continuously pound on you to get your strength to go up compared to the basic you know program that's three sets or four sets um, there's a reason and rhyme that we do our sets in power bodybuilding because the ultimate goal is to keep moving you up slowly very slowly and by the end you're so much stronger so and there's a reason not a lot of kids have density Today. Yeah, density is a different type of quality of muscle, and especially when you diet down, it looks. You put a, you put a guy that's dense, and then a guy that's, I guess you just say big, next to each other. The the fibers and the way they stride, the qualities, it's different. Much better. Also, for you youngsters, just so you understand, density takes time under weights, and so yeah. I recommend. Doing it from a young age Look, and doing it right. About the the twenty year olds on the blitz, where they, you know, not a lot of not. Ronnie Coleman ain't nobody want to lift no heavy ass weight. Yeah, it's, it's something else, man. And I think you guys all know why I don't respond to it. If we're at this stage, um, and and you're on my pages and you're talking to us and we're talking about this kind of stuff, here's the hard thing. This is this is one of those things where I, this is 100% my dad's teaching um, as I was growing up. And I'd ask him a question. And, and, and he was, I didn't like how he taught me, but it's called hard love. It, it, it's, it's setting me up to win in the future, even though I don't like it today. So the question here is, I want in. Um, uh, do we sign up? Where, where, where do we sign up? Anything like that. Here's my problem. Obviously, you guys can see the, the whole page, and the link is right there on the page, or you can just type in Mike O'Hearn. And so the one thing I worry about is, and Moda said it today, and you guys will see it, um, the 30-day blitz is hard. We know this. It's tough. And there's always some signs from somebody oh, man. that I'm already set up, like, please, don't you sign up. Because here's the thing. I want the person that signs up to succeed. What I don't want is I don't want the person to sign up. And that's why I recommend most people don't sign up because it is hard. And unless you're willing to really work hard, unless you're willing, really willing to make this, you know, commitment, I don't want you to sign up because what's going to happen is that you're going to sign up and then you're going to talk about it and go, oh, it didn't work for me. No, it worked fine. You didn't commit to it. You didn't stay on the nutrition. You didn't do the training and you lasted a week and a half and then you quit. I don't want those people on there. And, and one of the things that always makes me think that you're going to quit is anybody that asks questions like, hey, where do I sign up? Well, the link is right there for you. Yeah. It's hard because when you're passionate about something and you want to share that same passion with everybody so they can experience the same thing, it's frustrating when you just have to repeat and repeat. And you know it's just not, not happening because yeah. you want them to you know, succeed. I, I do. You. You, want, you want them to be on the ride. And that's what I love about the new Titan crew is all the new Titans are going, hey, before I ask, yeah. let me do my research. Let me look. Let me see if I can find it. And I love those kind of people. Yeah. It's like the opposite of Serge and Jeff. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Jeff will uh, search yeah. 20, 30 minutes before asking me, hey, here's a situation. <laughs> Most likely it will be answered in those 30 minutes with him just doing some searches and stuff instead of coming and stressing me out. 
So he already took care of it it's where to do, the young 20 year old or so would just instantly go, Hey, I'm in. Where do I sign up? So you this, filter them before they're even in, yeah. which is great. And that's what I love about Titan Crew. We try to filter them out. Uh, the people that want to just ask questions instead of do their research, um, do the diligence yeah. of, of looking at it, reading it, and watching the videos. I know it's hard, yeah. especially today, because you guys are growing up in a different format than how we grew up. But we always were told, do your very best on your own. And then if you need to ask questions, ask questions. Yeah. It's like a very tough class. They like, said that. Yeah, that's what they do. So when you, let's say you apply to business school, right? You have to do microeconomics, macroeconomics, accounting, all that. They're very tough classes. Very hard, but they're entry-level classes. And the teachers are tough. The assignments are rough. The amount of material is too much to handle. Let me ask. For the average person. Is that to eliminate them going on to the next level? That's absolutely. To, that's just to weed everybody out. That is, they give you, they put you right in the deep end from the get-go. You either sink or swim. And I love that. Everyone sinks. A lot of people sink. I love that. And I think that's the whole new Titan crew is that mostly on the signups. How many people did we turn away five, six, seven times? All the time. Because they didn't fill out the forms correctly. Oh, so you repeat, repeat. You repeat. Offenders. Yeah. So. Like We're, we are about, and it's a way of me trying to help you, believe it or not. Well, no, 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 just tell me. Just give me the answer. It doesn't help you. By me doing that, it doesn't help you. I need you to start these little habits that are going to help you in the future. So those little habits are the do your diligence, uh, look around, watch what's going on here, um, see if it's already put down there, anything like that. Yeah.